Hello, Wojciech Taman here. Today I would like to show you my post-processing workflow for editing long exposure images. I will be working in Lightroom 6 on an image that I took in southern England in Ludworth Cove. It's a 20 seconds exposure image I taken during midday so I had to use neutral density filter to get nice blur on water and sky. Uh, the image might look a little bit overexposed uh, but it's not. It's just uh, aligned to the right, exposed to the right. Uh, it means that histogram touches right side of the of the histogram, but uh, without keeping any highlights. All the information is there. So basically, I will be able to track exposure down and restore all those beautiful highlights in the sky. But before that, I will start as usually by removing dust spots. So I will select spot removal tool. And we'll check this little box here, which says visualize spots. So it shows any dust spots that are in the image. It looks fairly well. Unfortunately, you need to drag this slider a little bit to the right to show more spots. Uh, it's a threshold. It's a it's a margin uh, when dust spots are shown. And as you can see, there are a lot more of them. So I will zoom in. And we'll basically get rid of them by clicking with the spot removal tool. Okay, it took a fair amount of time, so it probably means that it's high time to clean my camera sensor finally, as I haven't done it in a while. Um, okay, I will check uh, this box again to uncheck it, uh, and we'll zoom out. Okay. Uh, next thing which I normally do is to fix uh, lens issues, like distortion uh, or chromatic aberration. So I go to Lens Corrections tab and select Enable Profile Corrections checkbox and remove chromatic aberration. Next thing I do is to fix horizon issues if there are any, and in the case of this image the horizon is a little bit off. So I'm going to Crop Overlay tool and select the ruler here and draw the line showing where the horizon is horizon is okay uh, it should be fixed now uh, i will also crop uh, the image a little bit to to satisfy rule of thirds to have sky in the third upper portion of the screen okay like that, maybe move it a little bit to the left. Okay, and let's click done. Now, next thing to fix is exposure. At the moment, the image is a heavily overexposed. It's it's definitely too bright. Uh, so what I will do is to drag exposure slider down to the level where mid tones of the image have correct correct brightness. I mean water and hills over here. Let's drag it a little bit to the left, a little further. You can use shift key, you can hold it uh, to make fine tuning a little bit easier. I think it's it's something around here. I have a feeling that horizon is still not, not straight, so I will correct that. Yeah, it seems to be a little bit off. Now it's perfect. Uh, okay, next thing is to brighten up the shadows. I think it will work. Next thing is to uh, determine whites and blacks level. Uh, what I do is to hold shift key again and double click on the white slider and blacks slider. Uh, this way uh, histogram was expanded automatically. Uh, the values were determined by Lightroom and they are optimal most of the time and in case of this image they work pretty well. Uh, what's left is to restore some uh, some highlights in the sky because they are still a little bit too bright. Even dragging them to the minus 100 which is uh, minimum didn't restore all of them so what we will need to do next is to go to local adjustments and let's start with gradient tool. I'll drag 
gradient in the sky and like that and uh, we'll uh, reduce highlights even further the, I will make uh, the sky even even darker uh, what does it, okay let's reset this and let's drag highlights to the left and maybe exposure a little bit also to the left okay uh, let's close Next thing I normally do is to increase saturation of colors. I start by dragging vibrance normally. Okay, yeah, I think it works pretty well. Uh, but I want the sky to be even more saturated, so I go back to my graduated filter, select it, and drag saturation a bit to the right just a little teeny bit just like that it works I would also like to make a lower part of the image slightly darker so the focus uh, so the viewers attention goes directly here to the like to the cove actually so I will drag another graduated filter starting from bottom up just like that and we'll this time drag exposure as slightly to the left but just a little slightly because otherwise the effect might be too strong and it might look artificial just a little bit more fourth of stop I think it works pretty well finally I will add a little bit of vignetting uh, regarding uh, exposure I'll drag uh, now to the left. Also increase highlights priority and also increase feathering. Okay, so so that it's it's more subtle. Maybe it's a bit too strong. Okay, I think the image now looks pretty nice. So what I would like maybe is to add a little bit more saturation to the cove over here to the water so I'll uh, drag radial filter around the area at the moment outside of the filter is affected of the of the drone area is affected so what I'll need to do is to invert mask Press that exposure to zero and increase saturation just a little bit maybe it's too strong right now maybe also increase white a little bit and also I'll increase further to make the the adjustment softer to, to blend better with 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 the rest of the image okay and I'm basically done uh, so finally let's compare the image to the original one by clicking on the backslash key on keyboard this is the original one and this is processed the difference is huge uh, once again this is processed image and this is before image what I would normally also do is to remove the people which are sitting here but in this case I'm just using some simple Lightroom editing so this time I won't do this but I hope uh, that you enjoyed this uh, short post-processing workflow and until next time